Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, genuine factory V8 Land Rover 90, short wheelbase, uh, finished in sort of creamy white. Um, it's white to me, but on the uh, V5 it says cream. Um, standard car, so we've got a uh, nice set of uh, steels with Michelin 750 by 16 um, tyres on it all round. A uh, few battle scars and scrapes, which we'll come back to, but you wouldn't expect a Land Rover to have anything else. It's got a tow bar, it's got the rear step. Let's look at it in a bit more detail from the front. Um, front bumper's a bit discoloured. Uh, looks alright from the front end. There's no checker plate on this one. It's not been messed with at all from that point of view. A um, couple of paint defects on the bonnet. Some chipping around the top of the offside front wing. Uh, I could go on forever really saying all the chips and scrapes. I'm not really going to bother. It is a Land Rover after all. I'm just going to look at the, uh, the serious stuff. Um, a long, long scratch on the um, near side. A um, couple of scratches actually on the near side. Wheel arch plastic. Uh, plastic. Um, quite nice around the bulkhead here. A little bit of surface rust just popping up on the hinges of the, um, the flap. But round here on the near side it all looks quite nice there. On the um, flat panel. All good there. Just a, bit of, a couple of bits of surface rust coming up. Um, passenger door, rear wing, a couple of marks. Really no more than that. Interior on the near side. It's nice. See it's also got the, um, the dog and uh, cargo guard in the back on this one. It's the three, three seater in the front with the lap and lap belt for the centre seats. Um, carrying on along it, we've got um, a broken near side rear plastic wheel arch just here. We've got a crack running run, run down from there to there uh, and it's sort of split slightly. You can sort of sit like that but uh, that's about the only serious, uh, well not really serious, but um, cosmetic issue on the car, just the, the, the arch there. Um, nice around the, the back end. Uh, so a little bit of surface rust here and there. Inside the back here, it's all pleasant. We have got a bit of, um, obviously, a small hole just here in the trim on the um, uh, the offside rear seat backrest, just there. Um, but the rest of it, so it's got the headlining in there. It's all okay. Carrying on. Down the offside, all looks very straight there. So a couple of uh, battle scars here and there. Evidence of the previous um, sort of county stickers that uh, still show up very slightly under the paint, uh, just from where the, the shadows of where the stickers were, just along the near side, the offside rear wing there. I guess you could put a set of stickers back on if you really, really wanted to. Um, slightly, slight dent in the base of the uh, the offside rear wing there. Um, some paint loss on the driver's door, just around here. Um, now on the driver's side we've got some bubbling just coming up underneath the paint on the edge of the um, uh, the panel here but really the rest of it is just uh, surface rust of course white shows uh, rust more than the colour but um, looks okay there a um, bit of rusting coming up once again seems to be just surface rust just here underneath the hinge on the uh, A post um, and we've got a couple of minor dinks just in the offside uh, front of the offside front wing there. Overall, it's just a smart, honest-looking, um, honest-looking landing in my opinion. Inside in the driver's side, once again, it's all all standard, not been messed with. Um, standard wheel, standard seats, standard everything really. It's got the carpets. Carpets are in reasonably good shape considering it's done 135, 136,000 miles. That's about it really. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906. 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. End.